Hey, Three Ringers, I hope you're having a great week. Today we are here to talk some shit about nutrition. Um, so what you can expect from us as far as the information goes and then how we're gonna help you along the way. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna get is your resting metabolic rate. So the resting metabolic rate is the, uh, the amount of energy your body is gonna use just being alive. So in other words, how many calories will you burn if you lay around on your ass all day and do nothing? Um, I'll explain how we will utilize that later, but that's basically what that is. Um, a couple of things to kind of keep in mind, the information you're gonna get might not be totally exact. So you might have to t tinker a little bit with the calories that we give you. That's why tracking your progress is super important, how you feel, what your weight does, your body fat, your lifts, all of those things are gonna play into it. Food is not the enemy. So we need to eat. We need to fuel our body for the workouts that we're gonna do. Um, oftentimes we eat too little and that's gonna have a negative effect on our weight loss, on our body fat loss, on how we feel, all of that stuff. Um, the other thing you're gonna get are these fancy infographs. So, the topics that we're gonna cover to kind of help you along the way, portion control, how to create portions without having to measure food if you don't have time or the will to do that, meal prep, how to properly meal prep for the week, creating a meal. So one of these will help you uh, in terms of creating a perfect meal for yourself, give you some examples of foods and how to build them in a healthy way. The other one is gonna be based around workout nutrition. So how do you fuel your body before, during, and after your workouts? Uh, and then the last one is gonna be stress related. Uh, so that's gonna be a little bit more recovery, but it's also gonna play a role in nutrition. Oftentimes when we're stressed, we eat more food, more shitty food than we should. So bringing it all back to the resting metabolic rate. I had mentioned that that is the amount of calories your body's gonna burn at rest. So, let's say that my estimated RMR is 1500. This is if I am on my ass, not moving, just being alive. That is the, min that's the maximum amount of calories I'm gonna burn by just digesting, breathing, living, not moving. For the most part, I hope you don't spend all of your time sitting on your ass. We go to work, we walk our dogs, we clean, we do anything else except laying around, and we exercise. So that is gonna add more calories to that equation. So let's say based off your activity, what you do for work, what you do in a normal day, and your exercise, that we're gonna add another 800 calories that we're gonna burn through exercise and lifestyle. So we're gonna add another 800 to that equation which takes us to 2,300. I think I got that math right. So 2,300 is now the total energy expenditure for me during an entire day. So what I can take from this is if 1,500 is my RMR, I am never eating less than that. I'm always eating more than 1,500 calories. If that is what my body needs to be alive, if I eat less than that, it freaks the fuck out and it will start to hold that calories as fat because it'll make itself feel normal again. With 2300, this is the number I'm gonna use based off what my goals are. So if my goal is to gain weight, bulk up, I'm going to eat more than 2300 calories. Depending on how much I wanna bulk up will determine how many calories I eat more. If I just wanna maintain my level right now, I'm gonna eat 2300. If I wanna lose weight, burn, cut, whatever it is, I'm gonna eat less than 2,300 calories. Depending on how much I need to lose, what I wanna look like, what I'm willing to do will determine how much I go below 2,300. But always knowing that I can never eat less than 1,500 calories. So if I can create a deficit between how much I burn in a day and how much I intake in a day, that's how I lose weight, gain weight, whatever it might be. So if I'm looking to lose weight and I eat 19, let's call it 1800 calories, 
That is a 500 calorie deficit. If I can do that seven times a week, that's about a 3,500 calorie deficit, which is going to, on average, lead to about one to two pounds of weight loss per week, depending on our body type and how much weight we need to lose. If you have any questions about any of this information that we give you, let me know, let Morgan know. We'll be happy to sit down, chat with you, um, and help you utilize this the correct way for yourself. Um, keep up the good work. Keep busting ass. Let us know if you have any questions, and that is Get Shit Done. We're working hard. <laughs> we're having fun. It's a three-range challenge. Get shit done. <laughs>